In this video, you will learn how hackers leverage leaked databases to gain access to your email address. Please keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only and its sole purpose is to protect yourself and share awareness of the methods that are used by hackers. Now, when a company gets breached, hackers often download its database, extract passwords and email address and then try to blackmail the person or try to gain access to their other online accounts. So that's why knowing whether your password is leaked or not will allow you to determine whether the same password is being used on other accounts, which is why it's also very important to use a password manager because it doesn't only create a very complex password, but it can also help you to manage your passwords and create a unique password for each account. Now, with that being said, let's get started. So to check whether your password has been leaked online or not, you want to visit the website proxynova.com slash tools slash comp. And then you want to add your username, your password or your email address to check whether your password has been leaked online. Now, this database is a combination of many breaches and it contains 3.2 billion credentials. So it's a very huge database. In my case, I can also use it for open source intelligence in which I can search for someone's password and check what passwords are associated or what emails are associated to a certain password. And if the password was unique enough, then I can identify other emails that are completely different than the one that I found. So I'm going to search for my username, for example, Saad Saraj, and then hit enter. And we can see that we did not find anything. I'm going to search for sad.saraj and we have found an email address with a password. Now, obviously, all the passwords are going to be blurred, but you can see how this works. So I'm going to search for this password and then hit enter and we will get some email addresses that might be linked to this password. So this is how you can use it to protect yourself, check whether your password is leaked online or not or to check whether someone's password is being used with different email addresses during your OSINT investigation. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because this will help me grow the channel and make more OSINT content. So with that being said, I'll see you soon.